Jesus, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for the manifestation of your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you for the grace that you have given unto us to be here even at this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, ancient of days, let your name alone be exalted. Let your name alone be glorified. Father, we thank you for you at the ancient of days. We thank you for you at the great I am that I am. You are the rose of Sharon. We bless your holy name. We thank you. We give you praise, O oh Lord. We give you praise. Just give him praise. 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 He's a good God. Give him praise. He's a good God. Give him praise. He's a good God. He's a good God. He has been keeping our families. Father, we give you praise. Father, we magnify your holy name. We appreciate you, O oh Lord, for whom you are in our lives. Father, you have been you have been awesome. You are a great God. You are a great God. You are a great God. We are a great God. You are a great God, O oh Lord. You are a great God, O oh Lord. You are a great God, O oh Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise, O Lord. We give you praise, ancient of days. We bless your holy name. We thank you for our family members. We thank you, O Lord in heaven, for your love for our family. Father, we thank you for the lives of our family members. We thank you for you at the ancient of days. You are the beginning and you are the ending. You are an awesome God. You are a good God. You have done it again. You kept us alive, O Lord. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise, O Lord. We give you praise, O Lord. We give you praise, ancient of days. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, ancient of days. In the name of Jesus, cut off nothing. Be thou glorified, O Lord. Be thou magnified, ancient of days. The great I am that I am. The rose of Sharon is your name. We bless your name. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Bible said, All have sinned and fallen short of his glory. Can we bring repentance before him this morning, uh, this hour, this night, and ask him for mercy? Father, Lord in heaven, we come before you with an open heart, O King of glory. We surrender completely and totally unto you this moment. We ask for mercy, O Lord. We ask for forgiveness of sins. Father, Lord in heaven, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon our family members. Have mercy, O King of glory, even upon me. In the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. Ask God for mercy at this moment. Ask God for his grace. My Father, by mercy, O King of glory, nothing shall be impossible. Nothing shall be impossible. By mercy, O King of glory, you can do all things in our lives. Father, we ask for mercy. Lord, we ask for mercy. Father, we ask for mercy. Lord, we ask for mercy. In the name of Jesus, cut off Nazareth. Father, we ask for mercy. In the name of Jesus, cut off Nazareth. Lord Almighty, we ask for mercy. In the name of Jesus, cut off Nazareth. Let your mercy prevail at this moment. Let your mercy prevail at this moment. Let your grace prevail. Let your grace prevail. Remember the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. My Father, let the blood of Jesus take over. Let the blood of Jesus prevail, O Lord. Let the blood of Jesus prevail, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, cut off nothing. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against agents of darkness that are incensed and organized against us. So at this moment, I want us to open our mouth and begin to come against every principality and power, every agent of darkness, rulers of darkness, wherever they have gathered against us, against our families at this moment, let God arise and let them be scattered. Let God arise and let them be disgraced. Open your mouth and begin to pray right now. Let God arise at this moment. 
anywhere they have ganged up against us. Oh God, arise and let them be scattered. Arise and let them be scattered. Arise and let them be scattered. In the name of Jesus, cut of Nazareth. Anywhere they have ganged up in our villages, anywhere they have ganged up against our family members, against our brothers and sisters, against our ministries, against our, our souls, against our prayer lives, against our Christian journey. My Father, arise at this moment. Arise at this moment. And let them be scattered, let them be dismantled in the name of Jesus. Cut off Nazareth. Who is it that says a thing and it comes to pass where you have not commanded it? Father, in the name of Jesus, cut off Nazareth. Every gang up against our families, every gang up against those that are online, every gang up against members of Beautiful Gate Assembly, every gang up against members of Beautiful Gate International Christian Center. Father, in the name of Jesus, cut off Nazareth. We come as a family, we come as a family, we raise a standard against principalities and powers, we raise a standard against them that are against us, against them that are against us. My father, whosoever that is standing against us even at this moment, in the name of Jesus, cut off Nazareth, arise, arise, arise. Arise, 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 arise. Let our enemies be scattered. Let thy enemy be scattered. In the name of Jesus, cut of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus, cut of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Isaiah 59. Isaiah 59 verse 1, he said, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But our iniquities have separated us between him, or between us and him. Are you hearing me? And so at this hour, he said that our iniquities, what is iniquity? Iniquity is sin upon sin, sin upon sin. Unrepentant sinners are the ones that bear that mark of iniquity. Are you hearing me? But the Bible says, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. And so there are family sins, there are family iniquities, there are family things that people are involved in our family that is bringing the hand of God down. When God wants to fight for us, let th th those things come in between. Those things come to hinder. Those things come and when God sees it, he says, no, this family is a filthy family. This family, no, 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 I cannot stand for them. But the blood of Jesus has, has come to wash us so, to wash and set every family whole and set every family apart. I want you to play the blood of Jesus and ask God to use that blood to separate your family from every family sin, every family altar, every family, family iniquity that is besetting and stopping his hand from reaching our families. Open your mouth at this time and begin to pray along this line in the name of Jesus, cut of Nazareth. Open your mouth and pray. Father, Lord in heaven, in the name of Jesus, cut of Nazareth, we present our families before you at this moment. My father, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel. My father, there are so many family sins that we do not know about. There are so family entanglements that we know nothing about. All those things may be standing against us even as we stand to pray. But Lord, we pray the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over our families today. We pray the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over our family members today. Father, remember that the blood of Jesus was shed for the remission of the sins of mankind. My Father, let that blood speak for our families today. Let that blood speak for my family today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let that blood speak for my family today. Let that blood speak for our families today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my Father, we do not know the sins that our families are involved in. We do not know the sins that our family members are involved in. My father, but you know them. My father, remember mercy today. Father, remember mercy today. Some of us have put our hands 
in where we are not supposed to put our hands. Some of our family members have put their hands in where we are not supposed to put our hands. My father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, remember mercy this morning. Remember mercy this night. Remember mercy this afternoon. My father, depending on where those watching online are this moment, my father, remember mercy. My father, remember mercy. Remember the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary. Oh Lord, you say it is finished even on the cross of calvary you said it is finished every sacrifice that was made in our family every sacrifice that was made that is standing as a snare that is standing as an ordinance against our family members against our families my father in the name of jesus cut off nazareth let the blood of jesus cut off nazareth wash and destroy that obstacle destroy that sacrifice oh lord let the blood of jesus Destroy that obstacle, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For we rest on all talking of glory against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers. Every power that is holding us bound, that is holding us bound, even as a family, even as a church. My Father will play the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth against that power, against that sacrifice. Every blood sacrifice that was done in the, la uh, in the last few years, several years ago, even before we were born, that is working against us. Lord Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we play the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We play the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We play the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We play the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth against such sacrifices. Against such iniquities, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, some members of our families, we are involved in blood rituals. Some members of our families, we are involved in blood rituals. And it is speaking against us that our life today. My father, remember blood for blood. Blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus speaks more expressly than the blood of Abel. Ah, that blood of sac that blood sacrifice that they used to entangle us in the years past, in decades past, some hundreds of years ago. My father, let the blood of Jesus wipe it away. Let the blood of Jesus wipe it away. Let the blood of Jesus wipe it away. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mashakatala bundelebo. Ring razandeleba mojangalaba. Brugazindalabo. Oh God, arise today. Fight for us at this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Isaiah 59 verse 2. Isaiah 59 verse 2. He said, but our iniquities. And verse 3 said, for your hands are defied with blood. And your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. So lies that men speak are also part of iniquities. Are you hearing me, somebody? Your tongue had muttered past vastness. You see, tongues, things we have spoken. We have placed cause on people we are not so, supposed to place cause on. Our, our hearts have borne iniquities. And so when we check our lives, when we check things that we go through in life, we may think that we are innocent. But in the actual sense, we are not innocent. But because of the blood of Jesus, that is why we are not even consumed. Are you hearing me, somebody? Are you hearing me, somebody? And in many families, people do not even care. Even these days, every family has one or two persons that are involved in fetish things, bringing more and more wrath of God. Because people will always ask. Churches are everywhere and people are not repenting. Do you know why? It is because of ancient altars that we are raised there. Because of ancient behaviors that we are raised in that family. That is what is hindering the hand of God from reaching us. That even there are so many churches all over. But iniquity abound. Evil increase. Because of these things that we are raised in the past. And the enemy, devil himself, the devil himself is there supervising 
supervising what is going on. And so at this moment, I want you to pray again and say, God, those iniquities, I stand in God for my family. I stand in God for my generation. That those iniquities be far from us. That those iniquities be not part of our punishment, be not part of us any longer because of the blood of the Lamb, because of the blood of Jesus Christ. He that was crucified on the cross of Calvary for you and for, for me. I want you to go straight to, the, to prayers and say, God, I stand in gap. Mention your name. Say, I stand in gap. At least I have accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. I stand in gap for my generation. I stand in gap for my family. Oh Lord, let that blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary begin to wipe away such iniquities that have been besetting my family, that have been setting back my family, even my environment, even my community, even the our immediate families. We may think we are innocent, but in the actual fact, the spirit realm is not looking at you as innocent. And that is why the blood of Jesus is involved. Praise the Lord. Because they must see something they will, they, they will hold and say, yes, with this one, we can, we, we, we can torment them. And so I want you to lift up your voice right now and say, God, I stand in God for my family. Oh, Lord, I stand in God for my generation. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, Lord, in heaven, in the name of Jesus, God of Nazareth, I stand, I stand, I stand. I stand in gap. I stand in gap for my family. I stand in gap for my family. I stand in gap for my generation. All blood sacrifices that we have made in the past. Lord, I stand in gap. Lord, I stand in gap. My Lord, I stand in gap. Jehovah, I stand in gap. Jehovah, I stand in gap. My Lord, I stand in gap. Jehovah, I stand in gap. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I stand in God for my family today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, at least I am born again. I have accepted Jesus Christ of Nazareth as my Lord and personal Savior. Lord, because of me, because of me, O oh Lord, because of me, O oh Lord, because of me, O oh Lord, oh, because of me, save my family, save my family, separate my family. From every blood linked sacrifices, from every blood soiled hands, from every blood issue, from every blood sin, from every blood iniquity, from every iniquity that we have committed with our hands, with our mouth, with, with whatever we have conceived in our minds. Oh Lord, all those ancient things. My Father, separate us by the blood of Jesus Christ. Separate us, 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 O Lord, separate us, O Lord, separate us, O Lord, separate us, O Lord, heal us from our souls, heal us from our souls, heal us from our souls to our bodies, to our spirit, in the name of Jesus, heal us, heal us. Heal our family. Heal us. Touch us, O oh Lord. I stand in God for my family. I stand in God for my family. I stand in God for my family. All those iniquities committed by our forefathers. My father, blot them out of our lives. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Blot them out of our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, blot them out of our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, blot them out. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Colossians chapter 2 again. 
We are going back to Colossians chapter 2 verse 14. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances. All these handwritings of ordinances that was that was made that was made against us that was made against us as a result of these iniquities that exist in our families in the ancient days in ancient times a lot of families were involved in rituals a lot of a lot of families were involved in, in idol worshipping and it is affecting us today. It is affecting us today. So many of us were covenanted to rivers. But the blood of Jesus has come to blow them out. The blood of Jesus has come to blow them out. So many of us were covenanted to, to altars. Village idols. Village gods and goddesses. But the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Has been released at this moment. To blot them out. Such ordinances. Such ordinances that are against us. Such handwritings. You, you can imagine. Handwritings written in blood. Written with blood. My God. Many families were involved in slave, slave business. And it is affecting their generations. 10, 15, 20 generations who, do, who did not know. What their ancestors did. It's affecting them. But thank God for the blood of Jesus. Thank God for the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible said that the blood of Jesus has come to blot out the handwriting. Of ordinances that was against us. Which was contrary to us. And he took it out of the way. Nailing it to the cross. Nelly to his own cross. <laughs> Hallelujah. Nelly to his own cross. And at the same time, he spoiled principalities and powers. Those deities, where those sacrifices were made, where those ordinances were, were made, he spoiled them in an open show. And having spoiled principalities and powers. He made a show of them openly triumphing over them in it for you and for me, for the church, for the body of Christ, for the family that is represented here. Remember, God cannot lie. I remember a day that Sodom and Gomorrah was to be destroyed and and, 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 and somebody was standing in gap and was asking. Abraham was standing in gap and was saying, God, please don't destroy them. And God said, if there are people in that particular family, if there are people in that particular community, if there are people in that particular Sodom and Gomorrah that love the Lord, that stand in gap, that is true evil, that love righteousness, I will save them. I remember Abraham saying, there must be people in that place. Say, Lord, please save them. And the Lord said to Abraham, prove to me that there are people there. Let us go and search at least 10 people. And they went and searched, they did not get 10 people. Oh my God. How many people can be searched out of your family that can stand in God today? Thank God you are one of them. Thank God we are one of them that can be searched out in our families. This prayer you are doing today is destroying, destroying, destroying the book of death and affliction in the family. Because these books of death and affliction they are kept in so many families. I don't think there's any family that is left behind. The Lord will use the blood of Jesus to destroy those books of death and affliction in our families in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said that when they searched, they could not see 10 people. And the anger of the Lord rekindled. 
against Sodom and Gomorrah. And you know what? The intercessor at that time was Abraham. Our intercessor today is Jesus Christ. Are you hearing me? And Abraham said, what about if we can get five? Abraham thought they could get five. And the Lord said, I will, I will save them. And they went and they said they could not get five. Hey, Abraham said, it's finished today. Oh, I am finished today. What is going to happen? Oh, they want to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, oh how can I, how can I intervene? And he began to plead. And he said, God, what about if we can find only two? And God gave consent to that. If we can find two. And they came down to one. They did not find a single person. Hey! But thank God in your family and in my family, at least you and I, we can be found today. We are standing in gap. And you know when they could not find anybody, what happened? Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. Do you know that what is going on in our families, in our communities, in our, in our villages, in our towns, in our nations, are worse than what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah? And so you, you, you need to understand why the hand of God has not gone swiftly to terminate the, 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 the works of the enemy in those nations. To terminate and destroy them at once. And so today we are standing in gap. Today we are standing in gap. The Bible said that he, he, he spoiled principalities and powers. He made an open show against them. I want you to now say every principality and power, every deity in my village, every deity in my town, in my, in, in my nation, who I in my family was converted to. That is still speaking against my family. Today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command Holy Ghost fire. I command Holy Ghost thunder. To destroy them and scatter them. For today there is now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. As we are standing in gap. No more condemnation against our families. No more condemnations against us. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray against principalities and powers. We are in those sacrifices we are made. We are in those ordinances and hard writings we are contracted in the years past. Open your mouth at this moment. Begin to come against such principalities and powers. Every principalities and power in my community. Every principalities and power in my village. Every principalities and power. Every principalities and power. We are ever, 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 we are ever those powers are. We are ever those powers are in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are ever, we are ever that blood was poured against me. We are ever that blood was poured. Ah, on behalf of my family. We are ever that sacrifice we are made on behalf of my family in the years past, in the ages past, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come against that altar now. For uh, my Lord and my God uh, have spurred principalities and powers on our behalf. And so at this hour, we have the power. We have the power to overcome. We have the power to overpower the enemies. We have the power to overpower principalities and powers. We overpower them at this moment by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of our shown on the cross of Calvary. And he shouted, It is finished. Today, your principalities and powers speaking against me from my family, from my background, from my community, from my village, from my town, from my state, from my nation, from all over the world. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release thunder, thunder from heaven against you. I release thunder from heaven against you. Holy Ghost fire consume them. Holy Ghost fire consume them. Pray, pray, don't be tired. Even those of you online, pray at this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, pray at this moment. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, pray at this moment. Against such altars, such altars of Baal that has been attacking your family, that has been responsible for all the deaths occurring in our families. Ah, oh God, today, the blood of Jesus has set us free. The blood of Jesus has set us free. The blood of Jesus has set us free. 
all those sacrifices that we have made in the past, we separate ourselves from it. We separate ourselves from it. Even at this moment, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are children of the Most High God. Oh Lord my God, in the day that Jesus was crucified on that cross of Calvary, the blood that dripped from his body contained the water, contained water and the Spirit of God. Mashakadalaba, the Spirit of deliverance. My Lord and my God, we speak deliverance against my audience. I speak deliverance against my audience. I speak deliverance through the blood of Jesus Christ against my audience. Let the blood of Jesus delete our family, destroy that, uh, that register of death, that book of death, that book of affliction that is kept against our families. The blood of Jesus destroy it today. The fire of the Holy Ghost destroy that register today. That register of death, that register of affliction, that book of death, that book of affliction kept against my family, kept against my community, kept against my, my immediate family, kept against my brothers and my sisters. In the name of Jesus, cut of mercy, I set them on fire. 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 In the name of Jesus, cut of mercy, I set them on fire. In the name of Jesus, cut of mercy, I set them on fire. In the name of Jesus, cut of mercy. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Today let me assure you that God is hearing your prayers. Let me assure you that God is hearing your prayers. I want you to turn with me to the book of Psalm 69. Psalm 69. Psalm 69. Psalm 69. Psalm 69. And we will read verse 28. We will read verse 28. Psalm 69. We will read verse 28 today. And the Lord will continue to fight our battles for us. Psalm 69. Verse 28. And it says, Let them be blotted out of the book. Those ones. Those ones, this time we are talking about blotting out of the book of death and life. Are you hearing me? And so there are a book of the living, there are a book of the dead. Are you hearing me? So how do, you, how do we know? There are such books that are kept. You will know from Psalm 69 verse 28. It said, let them be blotted out of the book of the living. And not be written among the righteous. Are you hearing me? And so if there are books of the living, there are also books of death. There are also books of affliction. So are you hearing me? And so that book, that book of the of, of death, that book of destruction, that book of, of affliction is what you are going to set on fire now. Are you hearing me? Before you set it on fire, you have to transfer your family name to the book of the living. Are you hearing me? Transfer all the members of your family. Anyone you can remember. Say, I transfer. I transfer. My brother John. My brother Angosika. I transfer them from the book of death to the book of the living. From the book of affliction to the book of progress. To the book of testimony. To the book of good tidings from the Lord. So I want you to open your mouth and begin to transfer them now. Begin to transfer them now because you set them before you set them on fire. Before you set those books on fire. Begin to transfer any member of my family. From John to Ngozika to Ernest. To, to, to anyone that is connected to my family. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My father, I transfer them from the book of death, kept against me, kept against us, kept against our family, from the book of affliction that is kept against our family. I transfer them to the book of the living. I transfer us, I tra transfer our na names to the book of the living, to the book of the living, to the book of progress, to the book, 
to the book of testimony, to the book of the Lord, to the book of grace, to the book of great testimonies. Lord, I transfer every member of my family to the book of the living, 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 to the book of those who will testify, to the book of the champions, champions of the Lord. I transfer my family members to the book of the living, 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 to the book of the living. Begin to transfer us, O oh Lord. Transfer us to the book of the living. Transfer us, every member of our family, every member of my extended family. Lord, I transfer. Lord, I transfer them to the book of the living. I transfer them to the book of the living. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I transfer us to the book of the living. My extended family members, I transfer them to the book of the living. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I transfer them. I transfer them. I transfer them. I transfer them. The more you pray, the better for you and your family. The more you transfer them, the better for you and your family. The more you share this message, the better for you and your family. The more, the more you invite your family members to this prayer at this moment, the better for you and your family. For one shall chase a thousand, and two shall chase ten thousand, and three shall chase fifteen thousand, and four shall chase thirty thousand, and five shall chase hundred thousand. Begin to invite your family to these prayers at this moment. Do not do it alone. Join forces with your family. Join forces with your family. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are overcomers. We are overcomers. We are overcomers. Today we have come to transfer our families, to transfer our family members uh, from the book of death and affliction to the book of the living, to the book of the living God, to the book of Jehovah. We transfer them this moment. 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 <laughs> I remove my name from the book of death and, 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 and affliction. I remove my name from the book of death and hell. In the name of Jesus Christ, I remove my family names from the book of death and hell. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no more affliction. No more affliction. Affliction shall not come a second time. Today is the end of affliction in my family. Today is the end of affliction in my family. Today is the end of affliction in your family. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Today is the end of affliction in your generation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The end of affliction has come. The end of death. Sudden death. The end of sudden death has come. The end of untimely death has come. It has come. It has come. It has come. No more untimely death in my family. No more sudden death in my family. No more sickness and disease in my family. We have been transferred to the book of the living. We have been transferred to the book of the living. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Open your mouth and begin to set those books on fire now. Begin to set those books on fire now. Those registers of death. Those registers of affliction. Begin to set them on fire. Every book of death. Every book of death. Kept against my family. Kept against your family. I set them on fire. I set them on fire. I set them on fire. A book of death and affliction. Book of death and, and affliction. I set you on fire. I set it on fire. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Yeshua himself. Begin to set those books on fire. Begin to set those evil books. Those evil books. Set them on fire now. Destroy them now. Destroy them by fire. Destroy them by fire. Set the altar on fire as well. In the name of Jesus Christ. Set the altar on fire. Set the altar on fire. Fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Consume them. Consume them. Consume these books of death. Consume these books of death in my family. These books of death. These books of death in my family. Lord Almighty. I release thunder to burn them into ashes. I release brimstone. 
to burn them into ashes. Every demon that is supervising this book of death in my family, this book of affliction in my family, I set them on fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Consume them. Consume them. Consume them. Consume them. Consume them. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Don't be tired to pray. Don't be tired to pray. The Lord is for us at this moment. And if God be for us, who can be against us? There is nobody that can be against us. Open your mouth and pray. Effective prayers and effectual prayers of the righteous are much. That is the word of God. Pray, pray, pray as a righteous man. Pray as a righteous woman. Intercede for your family. Intercede for your family. Intercede for your brothers and your sisters. Intercede for them at this hour. Intercede for them at this hour. Intercede for them. We set those books on fire. We set those books of death on fire. Those books of death and hell. Those books of death and affliction. We set them on fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Today, Lord, let your fire locate them. Let your fire locate them. Wherever they have hidden them in hell. Wherever they have hidden them in abyss. My Father, let your fire locate them. Wherever they have hidden them in their altars. We set both the altars on fire. We set all of them on fire. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Bible says, the Bible in the, in the book of Psalm we read, the Bible says that their names should be removed from the book of the living and transferred to the book of where? To the book of death. There are those who are still living, who are supervising the affliction they are going through. Some of them are called witches and wizards. Some of them are called occult men. Some of them are even Christians. They, they call themselves Christians. They go to church. Every Sunday they dress up and they go to church. And they are the reasons why you are being afflicted. We are going to pray today. My father, we are going to pray today. My father, honor our voice tonight. Honor our voice tonight. You are going to transfer those people to the book, blot them out of the book of living. Are you hearing me? The Bible says, suffer the witch not to live. Of the living. You are going to, you are now going to pray. You are going to know. Only God knows them. You don't know those who are supervising your affliction. Even if you think you know. Do not mention anybody's name, please. Even if you think you know. Jehovah knows more than you think you know. The person you may be suspecting may not be the rightful person. That is supervising the afflictions you are going through. Are you hearing me or you have disappeared? Those we may be suspecting may not be the ones. I am telling you the truth. They may not be the ones. But God knows them. His name is Jehovah El Olam. The Omniscience. Omniscience God means that he knows all things. Omniscient. He knows them. Those who are supervising the afflictions you are, you are going through. You are going to say, God, this is the time to blow them out of the book of the living. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living. And not be written in the book of the righteous. Begin to pray. Say, Lord, blot them. Those that are responsible for what I'm going through. Those that are responsible for these afflictions I'm going through. My father, my father, your word say, they shall be blotted out of the book of living. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living. 
Let them be blotted out of the book of the living. And let their names not be written in the book of the righteous. We have given them long rope to repent and they refuse to repent. Blot them out. Transfer their name to the book of death and affliction. Let them suffer affliction that they prepared for us. Let them suffer the same death they prepared for us. Let them suffer it. Let them suffer it. Let them suffer it. Blow them out, O oh Lord. We blow them out of the book of, of the living. Blow them out. For these people are evil. They are evil. Some people may not love this kind of prayers. But there is nothing we can do. We are helpless. It is only God that can help us. Some people may be against us. Why are you praying like this, pastor? Let them repent. They have refused to repent. They have refused to repent. They torment us day and night. They torment us day and night. Look at how far we suffer because of these people. Begin to blow them out of the book of the living. Let the angels search out that book, block them out of the book of the living. Blow them out. Grace found them, but they refused to accept it. Many of them are still idol worshippers. Calling your names. Invoking your names in the night. Going to run junctions with your names. Locking you in a padlock. My father, blow them out of the book of the living. Let the, the, the padlock they used to padlock our destiny. Let those padlocks be broken today. Let those padlocks be shattered today. Let that prison, the captors, be broken today. Break the jail. Let there be jail breaking by the authority of Christ Jesus. By the authority of the Lion of the tribe of Judah, I break every jail they have kept you. I break every padlock they have used to padlock your future. Every padlock they have used against your destiny, I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Isaiah 59. Hmm. Verse 4 and 5. He said, verse 4 says, None of them called for justice, nor any pleaded for truth that can't speak truth at all. None of them cause for justice. Oh, why? Why are we tormenting this guy? Sometimes in a, in a family meeting, in the home meeting, and some people rise up against some, uh, some members of the family, some people can intervene and say, No. He's a member of our family. Let us stop torturing him. None, none plead for justice. None calls for justice. For no reason, they are just tormenting us. Oh my God. No, any plead for truth. They trust in vanity. They trust in vanity and they speak lies. Every day they tell lies against you. They conceive mischief every day. Against us, they conceive mischief and they bring forth iniquity. They are the ones that go out from the family to bring forth iniquity. They went, they, they, they go about consulting, consulting uh, med mediums, consulting uh, um, 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 sangomas. Consulting fetish ritualists, consulting witch doctors against the family members. The Bible said that they go, they bring forth iniquity, and that is how iniquity has now been found in the family. May God arise tonight. May God arise tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. May God arise tonight. Those people that are going out, members of our families. 
that are going out against us, contracting iniquities, bringing evil altars to our family to destroy us, contracting fetish doctors to come and destroy members of the family. May God arise tonight. May God arise tonight. Bring them down to their knees. Bring them down to their knees. Bring them down to their knees. Blow them out of the book of life. Blow them out of the book of the living. Enough is enough. They have gone forth against your children, O oh Lord. They have gone forth against the church, O oh Lord. Just because we, we accepted the Lord as our Lord and personal Savior. We accepted Jesus Christ. And now they are going out against us. Oh God, arise tonight. Oh God, arise tonight. Oh God, arise tonight. Oh God, arise tonight. The more you pray, the better. The more you share, the better. The more you share, the better. The more you share, the more God hears your prayers. The more you pray, the more God hears your prayers. Oh God, arise and spot them out. Spot them out of our families. Spot them out of our families. Put them on the run. Put them on the run. We chase them out of our families. My father, let them pick papers on the road. Let them pick, 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 pick dust on the road. Let them use their mouth to, to, to eat dust. They consume mischief every day. They consume mischief every day. These are human beings. They consult native doctors every day. Every night, they go out against us. My father searched them out. Who is hired against my family? Any man that is hired against my family. Oh God, I saw them by thunder. Look at them by thunder by fire. Look at them by thunder by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let your fire look at them. Any sangoma. Any fetish doctor. Any witch doctor. Any witchcraft man. That is hired against my family. That is hired against me. Hired against my brothers and my sister. My father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the angels of death locate them. Let the angels of death chase them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As they are running, Lord, let their ways be slippery. Let them fall and die. Let them fall and die. Open your mouth and pray. Let them fall and die. Let them fall and die. Any man that is hired against me. Any man that is hired against me. Ah, Maglabadozada. Magrui and Abondere. Mi brashika tabo. Makandere yebon sanda. Li broshinda la mo. Let there be fire against them. Let there be war against them. Let there be war against them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Today they shall end. Their oppression shall end in our lives. We terminate the assignments against us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 5. Say they hatch concretized eggs. They are the ones that, uh, that bring sickness. Concretized eggs. They bring hatred in the family. They bring sickness. All manner of sicknesses and diseases. Attacking the families. And they weave the spider's web. Oh my God. He that eats of their eggs dies. Are you hearing me? They hatch. They hatch concretized eggs. And they weave spider's webs. You wake up every, mo every morning. You see spider's webs everywhere. They are the ones that visited your homes at night. They hatch cockroaches' eggs there. Cockroaches everywhere. I remember a, a day that my sister woke up in the morning and saw cockroach everywhere on the wall in her house in Lagos. And she began to cry. She began to weep. And he shouted. And he shouted on me, Come and see. And I woe and behold. I ran inside and saw cockroaches everywhere. Cockroaches everywhere. And we began to, we took anointing oil. We began to anoint the place. 
we, 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 we began to put fleet. How come cockroaches? I remember sometimes in the, in the year 20, 2014, in my house in Portacourt, a night, nobody slept. The whole cockroach in Portacourt had a crusade in, the, in, in our flat. Nobody slept. The Bible said they had cockroaches eggs. And they weave spider's webs. And he that eats their eggs dies. And that which crushes breaks forth into fiber, into viper. They become vipers. They poison foods at night. When you eat that food, you, you, you begin to develop strange illness, strange sicknesses. You know what the Bible says so far, the witch not to live. We are going to pray this prayer point as our last prayers before we close. And so we'll continue from there tomorrow. We are going to say, Lord, all these cockroaches eggs, all these uh, uh, spider webs that they have, they have created in our families, Lord, we set them on fire. 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 All those Poisons they have inflicted in our souls, in our bodies. My father brought them out of our souls. Brought them out of our bodies. Take away the sicknesses. Take away those vipers that are stinging us every day. Sometimes you wake up at night, you cannot sleep. You cannot sleep. The Lord just woke you up because they came around. They came around. They came around. Because the Bible said that when men were asleep, the enemy came and saw tar. And so each night that you, you cannot sleep, do, 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 do not waste time to go to break forth into prayers. Because that is a, a signal that they are around. They have come around to sow, to sow cockroaches eggs and to weave spider webs so that whosoever that each of those eggs you know, they put those eggs in food. When you prepare food, you hear of food poisoning. And people die. People die. Many have died of food poisoning. They don't know how it came about. They don't know. But today, may the Lord arise on our behalf. May the fire of the Holy Ghost consume those cockroaches eggs. Consume those spider webs. Consume those vipers. As many as they are, they are addressed as vipers. They are vipers in the home, in our families. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, cut of Nazareth, these vipers, these cockroaches eggs, these spider webs that the enemy has weaved against our families, against our souls, against our destinies. My Father, we set them on fire. My Father, we set them on fire. We set them on fire. We set them on fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. We set them on fire. None shall escape. We set them on fire. We burn down those cockroaches. We burn down those cockroaches eggs. We burn down the spiders. We burn down. We burn down the spiders' webs. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Go to my family now. Go to Wereza now. Burn those cockroaches eggs now. Burn them down. Burn them down. Burn them down. Go to Ochete family now. Go to. The family where I come from right now, in the name of Jesus, cut of Nazareth, burn them down, burn them down, burn them down, burn them down, in the name of Jesus Christ. All those so cockroaches eggs in my family that have become vipers, Father, we command Holy Ghost fire to pursue them. Holy Ghost fire, chase them. Let the angels of God chase them. Let the angels of war chase them with the sword of fire. With the flaming sword of fire. In the name of Jesus, cut of Nazareth. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to begin to cover these prayers with the blood of Jesus Christ. As we begin to round up our prayers now. Father, we cover these prayers with the blood of Jesus Christ. No man can reverse these prayers. Nobody can reverse these prayers. 
No man, no demon can revive these prayers. No witch doctor can revive these prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, any attempt to revive these prayers, Holy Ghost fire, bring them down. Let them fall and die. Whosoever that goes out in the day or in the night to revise these our prayers, tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, they will not see the light of day. They will not see the next day. As they go out against us, they will fall and die on the road. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I cover my family members with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover my soul with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover members of Beautiful Gate Assembly with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover Beautiful Gate International Christian Center with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover every member of Beautiful Gate International Christian Center, both online members, both physical members. I cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, anyone that is going to share this message, anyone that is going to share this message, anyone that is going to share this message, anyone that is going to sub subscribe to our YouTube channel, anyone that is going to follow us, even as we come back here tomorrow, my Lord, I cover all of them with the blood of Jesus Christ. My Father, you will bless them in the day. You will bless them in the night. The enemy will not triumph over them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, even as we come back same time by 6 p.m. tomorrow, my father, they will come back with testimonies. More we follow, more we follow, more we follow, more we follow. In the name of Jesus, cut off Nazareth. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.